nationally, we celebrate you for the enormous responsibility you have borne over the years of preserving the state and maintaining social order and stability, often working in difficult and dangerous situations and places. Yet, you have remained resolute in your service. I commend you for that. The appreciation of the role of the police is evident in the citizens' voices whenever they face difficulties. The first reaction is call the police, whatever, whether it is an accident, whether it is theft, whether it is some people fighting. The first thing any person arriving at the scene is to say, call the police. And that is why the age-old dial 999 has become a symbol of help, hope, and relief. So you provide, you provide hope to the people, and every citizen in this country know that the police is the first line of support and protection. So this in, in, encapsulates the citizens' expectation of their police service, communicates the trust and confidence they have in your ability to resolve their problems and calm situations, even things that are away from the police jurisdiction. Kenyans still say where the police call the police. Corruption is a concern not only to the NPS, but also to the entire country, and there is need to sustain and accelerate uh, the war on corruption. Police agencies and personnel must be demonstrably corruption-free, and be visible anti-corruption advocates and ambassadors. Let us not allow a few indisciplined servicemen and women to drag the good name of the service in disgrace. And uh, there's a good example I would always want to give. So you have a policeman who is manning a roadblock. You flag a matatu down, the tires are worn out. For one reason or another, your mate look the other way then they continue with the journey. Half an hour or an hour later, the matatu is involved in an accident. Of course, again, as a police officer, you're probably the first person on the scene to respond to emergency. Now, an action or an inaction on the part of the officer at the roadblock is complicating the life of the next officer who is going to be at the accident scene in terms of the stress you have to take them through, but also the fact that the people involved in the accident are probably your sisters, they're probably your brothers, or they are your relatives. Now, if we are firm, if we cut down and eradicate some of these inactions or actions on our part, as a police force, we would have played our part in the fight against corruption. Now, as I conclude, as a State Department in charge of internal security, we will endeavor to provide enhanced resources by engaging the various agencies in government so that we are able to further operationalize and facilitate uh, security operations. Ultimately, what we will truly celebrate is a professional and responsive police service. We want you, all public officers across the country, all police officers from the top to the bottom, to be people of integrity and to be people that we can use to support the president in this war against corruption. We don't want anybody to be left out. We want all of us to be one team. We want all of us from a police post to vigilance house. Unlike other institutions, and it has come out very clearly, you are unique because not only you are a disciplined force, you have powers to enforce. You can even go ahead and investigate things that are bordering on 
on corruption. You do fraud, you, do, you, you, you investigate all that. You are a very critical anger in this war. And we cannot leave you behind. That is why we are here. We are telling you we have to work together. 